then my sister's cat Stain was this week. This is my sister's cat Belle. And she is on, um, I would say she is a plus size model for cats. She's on a diet at the moment, but she's the fattest cat I've ever seen. And she has like, when she got neutered, her skin started to sag underneath. Can you see? And when she runs, it like wobbles. You see underneath her? <laughs> her skin is like wobbly. This is my gorgeous cat here. She's like a little lion. Hi, Sasha. She's so pretty. And she looks really big, but she's so skinny. It's all just fur. And then you see this monster of a cat. Oh, the kitties want to go out. You guys want to go out? Want to go out and play? They get really hyper at nighttime and play together. It's so cute. Then Belle gets aggressive and starts to like hiss at Sasha. It's really thick though. <laughs> I should have added a bit of milk or something. Alrighty, I'm on like this new health kick. I want to lose three stone, but I want to do it really slowly. So like a pound or two a week for as long as it may take me. But I just wanted to show you into my fridge. It looks so like healthy. It's everything is colorful, except for like this shelf is a bit processed with some cheese and stuff, but everything else, we have some mushrooms. What's in this? Some corn. There's some smoked salmon in the back, some spinach, eggs, we have all the berries, some hummus, cherry tomatoes, some chicken, cucumber, onion. Oh, this is, this cheese isn't great. Oh my God, I'm gonna make dinner with this tonight. Philadelphia salmon and dill, it's unbelievable. And then down here is all our fruit and veg. In these handy bags, they keep them like um, fresher for longer. I don't know where my mom gets them, probably Jones or something. We have peppers, onions, broccoli, carrots, celery, sweet potatoes, and then fruit on this side. Some little, what are these? I call these apricots, but I don't know what, I don't think they are apricots. They're like tiny little peaches and they're furry, but they're delicious. We had them on holiday, so we decided to get some more. A mango, it's actually rock hard. Oh my God, those pears are the nicest pears. They're organic pears, and that's pretty much it. Just basic fruit and lemons some low fat milk and I love this yogurt so much the blueberry yogurt but it has a lot of sugar in it so I'm gonna try and stop eating it now but maybe just when I'm having a treat day I'll have that with my berries my sister gave me this fat free yogurt and there's half the percent of sugar in it or half the amount of sugar in it but it doesn't taste very nice and it doesn't really taste like natural yogurt it kind of tastes like cheap natural yogurt I think it's from Aldi but I'm gonna try a better one with like less sugar and low fat I am actually like obsessed with coffee and cappuccinos, but I'm trying to stop drinking cappuccinos. But the coffee I like to drink at home is Cart Noir or Cart Noir or however you say it, but it's a really nice strong coffee and it's instant, but it still tastes nice. I was planning on buying an espresso this month, but I don't want to leave myself, it's, I only got paid last week and don't want to leave myself short with money just yet. But they have a good deal on at the moment. If you buy an espresso, it's 99 euro and you get a 50 euro gift card. So you can, excuse my chance. You can buy like the pods or you can buy like the frother. So it is a good deal. So that might justify buying it. But I really want an espresso because I'm obsessed with coffee. But at least if I make my own coffee, I can make it on slimline milk. And I'll add like milk and water and I won't make it so fattening. I'm on dinner duty tonight. So I'm going to make some smoked salmon with some mushrooms, some onions and some garlic and then I'm mixing in this yummy Philadelphia with salmon and dill. It's unbelievable. And over here we have some quinoa cooking. If you haven't heard of quinoa before, it's like a like an alternative to rice and pasta. It's carb free, full of protein and it's very very good for you and I love it. It's really light. That's what it looks like but it kind of puffs up a bit more once you cook it. It is such a beautiful day outside. They always say when the leaving cert starts, it gets sunny and they're so right. Like, look how gorgeous. Oh, wait a minute, push the camera up. Look how gorgeous it is out today. I just filmed my May favorites outside, so hopefully that turned out okay. And I'm going to get on with cooking my dinner. And Belle, Belle the big fat cat, is sunning herself. <laughs> oh, you can kind of see the size of her now. Oh, you're in the shade though, so you don't look as fat, Belle. You don't look as fat. Oh. And Sasha's out there, sahunning herself under the chair. My mom always 
usually can't use these pans because I always burn them up. Ah! <laughs> I'm new to these garlic crushers. I think this is the oh, I think this is the way you do it. Eating time at the zoo and Belle wants Sasha's food. Sasha doesn't want her own food because she's a pussy arse and Belle wants Sasha's food because she's a fat arse. Ikea, we're gonna go walk around for a bit. You have to pick up stuff for your mom, do you? Yep. Pick up some floating shelves and we're gonna have a look around because Ikea it's always fun to look around in. And then we're going for dinner. It's our first date night in ages because Chris has been working overtime and I've been working a lot. So we're gonna have a date night tonight and we're going to Pitts Bros. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Is it a pork barbecue? Uh, I don't know. Just... It's like a pork restaurant. I looked it up and it said like they have pulled pork stuff that Chris is really looking forward to. And then, are we going to the cinema? If we have time. I have to study for my exam tomorrow. I have my nail course exam tomorrow and I need to study for that. But I got, we did a mock exam last week and I got 85%, so that's okay. I'm in the distinction. And there's loads of traffic, so we'll be stuck here for a while. Lovely motorway that has traffic every day at this time. Does this always like this on your way home? Uh, going this way, yeah, I'm not going the other way. Yeah, Chris works out in Blanche, so he usually misses the traffic going out. But this is the way it is. I'd hate to actually have to drive home every day through this traffic. I just get onto you, or to, to you, the Lewis. for our bedroom <laughs> when we actually have a house <laughs> in about three years yeah <laughs> this is our beach house <laughs> I actually really like this room yeah but I don't remember this maybe this is new but I want it one of these old school sinks <laughs> we're IKEA stalkers I really want one of these sinks though what are they? They're like real old fashioned though, like are they called something? Oh my god. Oh. My. God. 
Oh my god, Christopher. We have to have this. It's only 400 euros. It's only a coffee mache <laughs> machine. Machine. Coffee machine built into the press. That's unbelievable. I have to have that. Look at that little extractor fan thing. That's a mad looking, that's like an alien thing or one of those things you dry your hair with in the hairdressers, isn't it? All the way out here to get drawers for Chris's mum and they're sold out. We did get a lot more though. I'll vlog it. I'll haul it in the car, but Chris got this gorgeous picture. He's got this, well he's about to buy this frame for his wall. It's so cool of, um, what is it? The Empire State Building. Ooh. Oops. I've been sent to get a trolley because we can't carry everything. Ooh, he's watching me. What did you think I couldn't get it? Or did you know I'd be vlogging? I just thought you were getting distracted over it, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like texting Melanie on Twitter and that girl actually makes me laugh when she sends me messages as well. It's not only her videos. She's so funny. I got this little glass, this is for my mum like, to make a little candle because I have those like, I don't know what they're called, wax free candles, I'll show them in a video but you just put water and oil in and then the little thing so I thought that was like a nice little bowl for her candle. I got this for my small makeup brushes, I'm just going to take the lid off and put it in that and then I got my mum another present, just like a little notepad thing for the kitchen because she's always looking for stuff to write on. And I got a mirror, like, you know, just those stand-up mirrors that they have from, like, Revlon. Oh, hello. But, um, they're, like, 30 euro in Revlon, and I think, yeah, I think they're 30 euro. This was 4 euro in Ikea. And I got this, like, little, what are they, like, sweet jars? The wrong it's a jar with a lid. Like a jar with a lid. I got this to put on, like, my dresser. I'm going to put, like, pigments or something in it just to make it look nice. Um, what else? Oh, I got little twinkle lights because I want to look cool in my videos and have these in the background. <laughs> And then I got like these, I think they're for knives and forks, are they? These are cool. I don't think so, yeah. Or like dress, dress, desk organizer. So I got a few of them. I'm gonna do up my makeup organizing again and hopefully film a video on that soon. I just realized I've uploaded 900 pictures on Instagram. That is crazy. Go follow me on Instagram if you're not already. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> Just on our way to Pitts Bros and I'm so hungry and so is Christopher. Are you excited? Nope. Is this Fade Street? Oh no, there's Fade Street. Here's George Salba. Stop! George Salba is in my vlog. Let's catch up with her. She's the image Let's of Kim not Kardashian. I'm not a <laughs> From Fade Street and there's George Salba. I'm gonna tweet this to her. I hope you're watching Georgia, I'm stalking you. <laughs> Big barbecue! Came back with this and I thought this was the lemonade we ordered but it's the table number. <laughs> so I got, I got the pulled pork and we got two sides so I got mac and cheese and onion rings and then Chris got the pulled pork, bun meal and chips on the side. For those of you who don't know, I worked in an ice cream parlor for like four years, four or five years, and I was like the best ice cream puller. But I might be, <laughs> I might have lost my touch, but let's go see. Ah, uh, here. <laughs> Happy with that? <laughs> it's safe to say I broke my diet today. I was so good and I'm after finishing this ice cream and I didn't even want it. But tomorrow is a new day and we'll start again. Mm. I'm just going to finish the vlogs here. Me and Chris are just going to watch Spider-Man and have a glass of wine and have some cuddles. I hope you liked this week's vlogs. Don't forget to subscribe and watch my previous vlogs. They'll be linked below, like the video and I'll talk to you all soon.